Words are the cosmic sound that permeates all life and matter. It is the vibration that animates and forms everything in the universe, from the smallest particles to the largest celestial bodies. The universe is an illusion created by the eternal spirit to manifest and experiment its diversity. To create the world of illusion, which is the world of matter, the spirit brought forth a cosmic sound. The difference between energy and matter is determined by the rate of vibration. As the cosmic sound of the divine rises to a high pitch, energy is transmuted into spirit. Conversely, as the sound descends to a low pitch, energy takes on the form of matter. Matter is made of energy and vibration, and physicists have come to know this through experiments and research. However, the saints, prophets, sages, and yogis knew this long before modern science. They knew that all matter manifested through cosmic sound, which is also known as the word. To provide a more vivid explanation, when the universal force sings the song of creation, it causes energy to vibrate and dance in harmony with its rhythm. This cosmic melody creates sacred geometric patterns, which in turn give shape to matter. As a result, all matter manifests itself through its cosmic sound, and without this sound, nothing can be done. Without this sound, matter cannot exist. When we think of sound, we often think of something we hear with our ears. But sound is much more than that. Sound is a vibration, a movement of energy through space. Have you ever noticed how cats react, seemingly hearing something imperceptible to us? Cats can pick up frequencies beyond our auditory range, explaining their reactions to sounds we can't perceive. This phenomenon highlights the limitations of our senses. Just as with cats, the world is teeming with vibrations and frequencies undetectable to our senses, yet they persistently oscillate around us, shaping our environment in ways beyond our perception. These subtle energies that lie beyond our visual or auditory capacities, while imperceptible to our senses, are omnipresent. Sound, fundamentally a vibrational force, possesses the ability to materialize physical forms when its resonance reaches a certain potency. Our world is populated with sounds, from the sounds we easily perceive externally to the internal sounds of our body, like the beating of our heart or our bodily fluids. Usually beyond conversations or music, sound may not seem notably significant among the various elements shaping our world. But what if there were much more to it? And sound not only was a part of the world, but defined it. In ancient times, immersed in deep states of meditation, yogis understood that there was much more to sound than meets the eye. In the stillness of their practice, they mentally repeated specific sounds called mantras or syllables linked to particular forms of energy. When, through repetition and the power of their concentration, their consciousness dissolved into the mantra. A particular form appeared in their vision. Each mantra was linked to a distinct form, known as a yantra, which can be defined as an archetypal form. All forms of energy existing in the universe were related to a particular form and sound. Thus the yogis comprehended and experienced that the universe was composed of sound, or in other words, vibrations. The primordial sound that initiated everything is Om, also known in Christianity as Amen. This is why the Bible says that all things were made for the Word, also known as the Om, which is the first sound produced by God to manifest the universe. All things are done through the Word, because the Word is the cosmic vibration that animates and forms all matter. The Om is the origin of all sounds and languages, and those who have perfectly tuned their vibration with the Om can understand all languages, including those of men, animals, and atoms. The Om is the mother of all things, giving birth to matter by the power of the Om. This cosmic vibration is inaudible to the human ear but can be heard internally by the ear of intuition. 
power of words extends beyond the creation and sustaining of physical matter. Letters and words are channelers of intelligent energy, such as thought and emotion, that allow us to communicate with each other. Each letter of a word has the power to contain intelligent energy within a geometric form. And when these letters and words are spoken, they carry this energy out into the world. It is through the creative power of words that we can transform energy into matter, bringing our thoughts and ideas to life. Our words can shape our reality and the reality of those around us. As we speak and write, we are co-creating the world with the universal force that guides us. Words are mere vessels, carrying within them the power of thought and the energy of creation. To unlock their potential, we must delve deeper into their meaning and understand their true essence. They also hold great knowledge and can connect us to the mysteries of the universe. Words are symbols that represent thoughts and ideas, and they hold immense power in the realm of human consciousness. The true meaning of a word is not simply its dictionary definition, but the vibrations and frequencies it carries. When we speak or think a word, we are tapping into the energetic realm of creation and manifestation. The word I holds a special significance, for it refers not only to the self, but to our connection with the source. As fragments of the source, we are one with it, yet retain our own unique path and reality. To say I am is to tap into the pure state of consciousness, the very essence of existence itself. We become creators, generators of our own reality, manifesting our deepest desires through the quantum void of being. The phrase I am holds a great deal of significance in the human language as it serves as a powerful declaration of existence and identity. Its creative power is immense, for when we affirm our presence in the world and declare our individuality with the words, I am, we assert our unique place in the universe. However, the impact of I am extends beyond just individuality. It also represents a declaration of unity with the source of all creation. When we say I am, we are tapping into this universal energy, aligning ourselves with its creative power and acknowledging our place in the grand scheme of things. But words alone are not enough. We must also understand the vibration and frequency they carry and ensure that our thoughts align with our intentions. Deeply held beliefs shape our reality, and it is only by becoming aware of the true meaning behind our words that we can manifest our true potential. Whether we seek abundance, happiness, wealth, tranquility, or love, we must first become attuned to the vibration of these concepts and align our thoughts with our intentions. The words we speak have the power to shape our thoughts, our emotions, and ultimately our lives. They can inspire us to greatness, or they can hold us back in fear and doubt. To truly harness the power of words, we must understand their deeper meanings and use them intentionally. When we speak or think a word, we are generating a thought form that can shape our reality. If we use words that align with our highest aspirations and beliefs, we can manifest a life that reflects our truest desires. When we use affirmations like, I am abundance, I am love, or I am joy, we are declaring our intention to manifest these qualities in our lives. But we must do so with full awareness and understanding of the power of our words. We must feel the vibration of these words in our hearts and minds, and we must align ourselves with their energetic frequency. The true magicians, the creators of conscious reality, are those who understand the power of words and the essence of being. They do not simply repeat affirmations, but understand the profound meaning behind them and harness their power to create their own reality. In many cultures, people believe in the power of incantations, spells, and affirmations to bring about change. 
The use of mantras and chants in meditation is also an example of the power of words to influence the mind and bring about a state of inner peace. In addition to their creative power, words can also have a destructive impact. Negative words can harm relationships, damage self-esteem, and even lead to violence and discrimination. On the other hand, positive words can have a healing effect, building self-confidence and strengthening relationships. The power of words is not limited to their impact on personal stories. Words can also influence the course of history. Speeches and writings by political leaders, activists, and philosophers have inspired social movements and brought about change in societies. Ultimately, everything that we see, hear, touch, taste, and feel is a manifestation of our consciousness, for without consciousness, there would be no perception of reality.